habit tracking. I, I don't think you always need to track or measure your habits, but for certain areas, for the ones that are important to you, that can be an effective way to do this too. You know, like if you, the most simple form is to just put like an X on the calendar each time you do a workout or whatever. Well, if you do that every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, as soon as you finish the workout, it feels good to record that. I mean, I write down like all the sets and reps that I do. It feels good to close the book and have another workout finished. Um, and of course, there's a million apps now that do that kind right. of thing from Strava to the Aura Ring and everything in between. The point, though, the central point is just finding small ways to feel satisfied in the moment yeah. gives you a reason to repeat the good habit in the future. Yeah. I like this... Uh, idea of batching. You use this example of, of one way to kind of confront and overcome a bad habit is to um, combine it with a good habit. So there's the example of the woman who, who uh, you know, wanted to watch Hunger Games, mm. but then she's like, she's only allowed to watch it if she's doing it while she's at 